Hey everyone, I'm Gary Elysiums. I'm back for part seven of my complete vinyl collection. Now, if you have not already, please hit that subscribe button. Not only will you get updates every time I post a video, including my complete vinyl collection series, but every time um, you know I post a ranking video, anything else I have to do, and you just help support my channel, which I really appreciate. And I just want to say I do appreciate every uh, subscriber, the new ones, the ones that have been there from the beginning. I love reading your comments. Uh, it's really cool. All right, so we're getting back into it. Uh, we left off with Rage Against the Machine at the end of part six. So we're still in the R's and we're going to go through the S. So uh, we pull out a couple of times. You know, sit on the floor because they're getting pretty low. All right, first up, Rainbow, the debut album, Richie Blackmore's Rainbow. Uh, one of my favorite albums. I just love the color scheme of this. I love the you know, the rainbow, the purple. It is the gatefold with that iconic photo of Richie Blackmore. Uh, it was later used on the very best of Rainbow CD. I believe that was released in the late 90s, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I'll do this, I guess. Uh, next up on stage, double live album. Uh, this album... Mm, gets a lot of shit, but I, I like it. I think it's really cool. I love the long jams on here uh, Kill the King, Man on the Super Mountain, Man on the Silver Mountain, excuse me, Catch the Rainbow, and then Mistreat It, which he brought over from his Deep Purple Mark Three Days. Next up, Straight Between the Eyes, my favorite Rainbow album, which features Joe Lynn Turner on vocals. Features one of my favorite songs and the song that got me in the Rainbow, Stone Cold. And, um, you know, little did I know. The Ronnie James Dio era, which is, you know, great. All right, next up we have Rat, their debut album, Out of the Cellar. Now I know they uh, debuted with the EP, self-titled EP, but this is their full-length debut, featuring Tony Katane there on the cover. Uh, really great album from start to finish. Want it, man? You're in trouble. Round and round. She wants money. Lack of communication's great. Uh, the morning after the scene of the crime. And I have the follow-up. Invasion of Your Privacy. Again, these are original pressings. I will let you know if they are represses. Um, Lay It Down is my favorite rat song. I just think it's great. Uh, really good follow-up to Out of the Cellar. Uh, not as strong, but a really good follow-up. Uh, these next ones are represses, and it's the Ramones. Or Ramones, honestly. Uh, it's not the Ramones. This is a 180 gram repress. Um, their iconic debut album basically ushered in the punk rock era I had one of the greatest debut albums of all time and just one of the greatest albums of all time in general then as a follow-up leave home uh, another stone cold classic I feel like this is very underrated you never hear this get mentioned as much as you know, the other debut album or this next one I'm about the show rocket to Russia uh, I always love this cover I love the way the pink blends with the black and white uh, just really, really, really good album. My second favorite behind the debut. And this is, yeah, the last one I owned by the Ramones. Road to Rowan. Uh, another great album. Features the huge hit, I'm Gonna Be Stated. Uh, I just want to have something to do with it opens. It's a really cool, heavy song. I love that. I feel like it's basically pushing on hard rock. Not as punky as their other stuff. Alright, we got another big chunk. And we have Red Hot Chili Peppers as a repress, uh, One Hot Minute, featuring Dave Navarro on guitar. Uh, this features hits like Aeroplane, uh, My Friends is on here, Warped, um, One Hot Minute, the title track is great. Um, yeah, this is really good stuff here. Tearjerker, which is actually about Kurt Cobain. So this was released in 95, year after Kurt would pass away. Next up, this is Original. This is R.E.M., their debut EP. Chronic Town, really good EP, uh, only featuring five tracks, uh, One Million, Stumble, Wolves Lower, Guarding at Night, and Carnival of Sorts, IRS Records, and this is something I got as basically a freebie when I ordered something online, The Righteous Brothers, Just Once in My Life, uh, it's got uh, Unchained Melody on there, which we all know, and listen to a vinyl, it's really, really cool to hear that that's the back cover there great album you got the ronettes advertised all right next up we're getting to my stones collection I have a good amount of the stones again one of my favorite bands 
And first off, we had the debut album. Um, I believe all my stones are original pressings. Um, no represses, no 180 gram pressings. England's newest hit makers. A very underrated album. Great album from start to finish. As you can see there, Keith Richard. Just titled there under just Keith Richard. Other was opposed to Keith Richards. Um, Not Fade Away, which was the cover of the uh, Buddy Holly song, Route 66. Great song. I just want to make love to you as a Willie Nixon. So this is basically a uh, carol. Chuck Berry cover. So everything is just a collection of covers. Uh, basically some 60s R&B and blues tracks, except for Tell Me, which was a Jagger Richards original composition on here. Next up, we have December's Children and Everybody's. This is a album that was only released in the United States at the time, was never released in um, England. Although England would have the same cover and title it Out of Our Heads. This is an original mono pressing, as you can see down here. Uh, basically a compilation, but uh, it was a big star. It was a decent album. It's a very iconic photo, as you can see. Uh, features Get Off My Cloud, I'm Free, As Sears Go By. Blue Turns to Grey is great, the singer, not the song, you better move on. She said, yeah, it's all about you, another Chuck Berry cover. Next up, big hits. This is uh, High Tide and Green Grass. So basically this was the Stones' first greatest hits compilation released in 66. Featured everything, all the classics from their early era, like Get Off My Cloud, Satisfaction. Um, what else is on here? Not Fade Away. Just, uh, just really good stuff on this one. This was released after Aftermath. And next up, we have another compilation, Flowers. Um, there's a little stain on there. But uh, otherwise, it's in really good shape. Uh, basically, you know, this came out in 67, so there you see the psychedelic reference there in the cover uh, with the font pictures. Uh, another United States-only release was not released in England. Features Ruby Tuesday, Have You Seen Your Mother Baby Stand in the Shadow, Let's Spend a Night Together. Out of time, I love that cover of My Girl, written by Smokey Robinson, obviously made famous by Temptations. Backstreet Girls, great. Backstreet Girl was released on the English version of Between the Buttons, but not on the American version, so it is collected here. Mario's Little Helper is on here. <coughs> Excuse me. Next up, this is original for Satanic Majesty's Request with the lenticular cover there. Really, really great album. Um, very underrated. I feel like people don't like it. Because uh, it's basically the Stones almost mocking Sgt. Pepper's and the psychedelic era because the Stones were never really psychedelic. But they went and did one and kind of got it out of the way, I think, um, being at the time. And I feel like after this, they really exploded with their uh, exper experimental skills. And the albums that would come after this were just, you know, brilliant. Um, it's one of my favorite gatefolds of all time. I mean, just look at the colors there. And, and the Stones, just, they could not do any wrong. I mean, they made a psychedelic record, basically mocking the uh, other bands at the time, and they still made a great record. I mean, anyone else doing stuff like this would, uh, wouldn't be as great of a record, but the Stones did it. Uh, Frank Zappa is another one. I felt like he mocked the psychedelic era and still made great albums. All right, next up, Beggar's Banquet. This is the original cover. Um, this, well, this this was the one that came out. The original cover that you know with the uh, bathroom wall and the toilet and all that was kind of banned. They thought it was a little too raunchy. They released in 1968. I'll uh, show this gatefold. You can see that in the CD. Uh, Beggar's Banquet, largely acoustic album, but just amazing. I mean, it opens up with Sympathy with the Devil. Uh, no Expectations, Dear Doctor, Parachute Woman, Jigsaw Puzzle, Street Fighting Man, The Other Hit Off of Here, Stray Cat Blues, great, great bluesy track, ends with Soul of the Earth. And we have another compilation. This is Big Hits Volume 2, Through the Past Darkly. Uh, as you can see, it's the um, kind of a hexagon cut there. I'm sorry, octagon. <laughs> uh, so... This has stuff that was only released as singles on 45, like Jumpin' Jack Flash, uh, Hunky Talk Woman, Paint It Black. Well, Paint It Black was on Aftermath. Uh, yeah, basically Dandelion, great song. 
So this is the original. This is not the repress. Uh, I believe it was like a Record Store Day exclusive, which came out recently. Speaking of classic albums, Let It Bleed. I mean, one of their greatest albums of all time. Kind of a weird cover, but it's so iconic that it just sticks. Uh, this is just amazing. Um, opens up with Gimme Shelter. Uh, a song like that coming out in 69 was just way ahead of its time. Uh, obviously, the title track's amazing. Uh, Midnight Rambler is just epic. Uh, and ends with You Can't Always Get What You Want. Another one of those iconic rock and roll songs. Next up, one of the greatest live albums of all time, in my opinion. Get Your Yagas Out. Released in 1970. Next up, Sticky Fingers. This is actually my favorite Stones record. This is the original Andy Warhol cover with the zipper. Um, great, 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 great album. Opens up with Brown Sugar and the Sway. This solo for Mick Tower and the end of Sway is just insane. I love it. Um, the intro to Can't You Hear Me Knock is one of the greatest guitar riffs of all time. Next, we have Hot Rocks, 1964 to 1971. Uh, yeah, a little rough looking, but uh, plays great. This is the double album, Greatest Tits from the Stones, basically collecting everything they did throughout the 60s up until, you know, stuff from Sticky Fingers. And this is not a Rolling Stones album, but it is an all but name. This is Jamming with Edward, featuring Nicky Hopkins, Ry Cooter, Mick Jagger, Bill Wyman, and Charlie Watts. So basically you got Ry Cooter on uh, guitar, Nicky Hopkins on keys, Mick obviously on vocals, Bill on bass, and Charlie on drums. Uh, it Hurts Me Too, the Elmore James cover is a really cool one off of here. It's probably my favorite track. But this was released... Um, in early 72 so i i always keep it with the stones record it's, it's basically lumped in with the stones even though it's not the stones down my name next up the iconic exile main street the double album yes this is the original copy um one of the greatest albums of all time tumbling dice is on here rocks off um soul survivor just so much good stuff on your happy amazing album and next we have It's Only Rock and Roll. Last album, the guys would do with Mick Taylor. I am missing uh, Goat's Head Soup, as you can tell. I'm sure someone will ask where that is in the comments. Got some more stones to go through. Metamorphosis. So Metamorphosis was a 1975 release from Abco Records, which was their label in the 60s. And basically it's just a collection of B-sides and uh, unreleased tracks. Jive and Sister Fanny is great on here. Mellow from Turner. Um, Diversion of Out of Time, which opens it's great. And then we have the first album they would do it, Ronnie Wood on guitar. Black and Blue. Great album. Hot stuff on there. It's almost like disco influenced. Next, Some Girls. Um, so I actually had the original cover. So one of my uncles with the uh, you know, faces that were banned that white and you know kind of cream color it did have all the faces which you can see are now cut out so basically the original one had um these pictures of like lucille ball and these other actresses and actors and they, they use their use them without permission so the record eventually got pulled off the shelf and replaced with a uh you know a few different colored covers i had this one right now recently Trying to get the original back again, or at least the white cover I like. Another compilation, basically the greatest hits is Sucking in the 70s. Um, it's okay, not the greatest. Basically, it's just stuff from the 70s. Uh, basically covers the later 70s more than anything. Kind of like the uh, disco tinge stuff, like Hot Stuff, Miss You. Next, Tattoo You, released in 1981. Great, great album. I feel like this is the Stones' last classic album. Like, sure, they did put albums out after this that were good, but this was their last, I think, five-star classic. Uh, opens up with Start Me Up, Hang Fire, uh, Slave, Neighbors, Little TNA, Black Limousine, uh, Tops, Waiting on a Friend, They're Used to Cry in Heaven. Great, great album. Another underrated album, I feel like. This is Undercover. Features Undercover the Night, She Was Hot, um, Too Much Blood, Pretty Beat Up, Too Tough. Really cool album. Uh, there wasn't like really huge hits and this came out 
in the 1983, so it was kind of like uh, the Stones weren't. I mean, Stones were always relevant, but they kind of their fame kind of leaned down a little bit. And this is another under uh, underrated album. I feel like Dirty Work. Uh, yeah, the cover is super 80s with the colors and stuff, but there's some great songs on here like Harlem Shuffle. I love. Uh, Too Rude is amazing. Um, what else is great on here? Oh, one hit to the body. It's amazing. <coughs> Excuse me. Next, Steel Wheels. It's the last one I own by the Stones. Uh, Steel Wheels released in 89, another underrated album. This is the first Rolling Stones album I really uh, grew up listening to. My dad owned it on CD, and I still actually have that CD, uh, the original CD copy, which I probably mentioned when I did the CD collection video, which if you're interested, I didn't watch it already. I have a, uh, I think it's like 12 part CD collection video series up on my page. Another reason to subscribe so you can see all stuff like that. All right, we're gonna finish out the R's. We have Linda Ronstadt's Greatest Hits. Uh, these are really like pristine shape and Linda Ronstadt's Greatest Hits Volume 2. And next up is the uh, Rossington Collins Band with their debut album, Anytime, Anyplace, Anywhere. Uh, basically, this is Leonard Skinner and All But Name. They have, um, what's her name? Dale, I forget her last name, can't think of it. Uh, the woman on vocals, uh, but also features uh, obviously Gary Rossington, Alan Collins, Billy Powell's on this. I believe Leon Wilkinson plays on this, but I could be mistaken. Then the debut EP from David Lee Roth, Crazy from the Heat, features his covers of Just a Gigolo and California Girls. Then Diamond Dave's debut album, solo album, I should say, Eat Em and Smile, great, great album, featuring Steve Fai on guitar, the great Billy Sheehan on bass, amazing album. And then here we have Rush. 2112. I bought this. This is a 180 gram audiophile vinyl, which sounds amazing. Uh, one of my favorite Rush albums of all time. I feel like it's probably Rush's uh, best album, but this is my favorite Rush album. Permanent Waves features one of my favorite great songs of all time, Spirit of Radio. And finally, from Rush, my Rush collection is pretty weak, uh, but I own everything on CD. Signals. Great, great Rush album from, uh, besides movie pictures, probably the best thing Rush put out in the 80s. And now we're moving right on with Santana, the debut album. Of course, someone had to write on there. Uh, it has the poster and the, uh, or does the Braxis come with the poster? No, uh, Braxis comes with the poster. So yeah, the debut album from Santana released in 1969. And here's the Braxis. This comes with, this comes with the poster. Uh, so it's a full pull-out poster of the band uh, in white and black paper. Santana 3. Great album. Guajila. One of my favorite Santana songs. And, of course, the greatest hits. It's the original. You know, on CD, it says here, Santana's greatest hits. Uh, what is this? Oh, Michael Shanker Group. The debut album, Michael Schenker, uh, once he left UFO and Scorpions, put out this amazing, amazing get debut album, which just shreds all over. And speaking of Scorpions, we had the best of Scorpions. This is uh, basically covers everything from the 70s, uh, the you know early to late mid 70s, like stuff off uh, Fly to the Rainbow and Trance, Virgin Killer. I believe there are some live tracks from Tokyo Trapes on here, but I'm, I don't remember offhand. Next, we have Love First Sting, still in the uh, shrink, a little old price sticker on there, a hype sticker. They're a huge, huge seller. Rocky Like a Hurricane, still loving you, is on there, Big City Nights. Next, we have Bob Seeger and the Silver Bullet Band with Night Moves. Uh, this is a repress. Never mind the Bullocks, here's the Sex Pistols, the only album they would put out. Carly Simon, New Secrets, uh, always loved the cover there. Also features uh, You're So Vain, one of my favorite songs. Definitely my favorite Carly Simon song, but one of my favorite songs of all time. It's a great, great, great song. 
Simon and Garfunkel, Sounds of Silence. Really cool cover there. Like the uh, color scheme there with the green and white. And we have bookends. Bridge over Troubled Water. Ooh, the damage there. And this is a, a dead beat up cover, but the vinyl's great. Graceland, Paul Simon's classic solo album. All right, and we're gonna get into the last batch here. To end this video. Starting with the almighty Slayer, Rain and Blood. One of my favorite albums of all time. Probably the greatest thrash metal album of all time. Uh, it's just crazy what these guys accomplished in a half hour. This is a repress. Slide of Family Stone's Greatest Hits. Really, really cool album. Another great album. Really cool cover. There's a riot going on. Family Affair and they're just amazing. And here we have a remastered repress of Gish. Uh, Smashing Pumpkins debut album. This is a double LP. Actually, it's not a double LP. See, there's the back cover there. Yeah, it is a single LP. Different color scheme. Um, just the back card with the track listing. I keep it in here. Like I said, it's the remastered version. That's why it doesn't look like the... Um, Actual black cover that everyone knows of. Elliot Smith, Either Or, another one of my favorite albums. Um, Say so Yes and Angelus are just great, great, great. Uh, repress. Another Repress, Ultra Mega OK. This is the remastered version. Uh, double LP, it also features the Ultra Mega EP. Sound Garden's debut album. And another one. Bad Motor Finger. Iconic album from Sound Garden. Amazing. And this is a Record Store Day exclusive uh, A Sides double LP. Colored vinyl, which is really cool. We'll show it off now. It's, you don't get not be able to see it as good as I can because of the light, but it's got this uh, smoky black and green. This one's actually a little lighter. And uh, each label on each side features a band member. This is Matt Cameron and Kim Thale. Uh, the first one is Chris Cornell and Ben Shepard. There's Chris and Ben. Uh, next we have The Wild, The Innocent, and E Street Shuffle, Bruce Springsteen. And last one, Bruce Springsteen's iconic classic album, Born to Run. All right, everyone, so that was part seven of my complete vinyl collection. Uh, for those of you that have been watching from the start to finish or just picked up here, I appreciate you watching. Uh, part eight is coming next. I might do it, I don't know, I might do it tonight to get this series over with. Um, as always, uh, if you want, follow my Instagram, at Gary of the Elysiums. It features uh, basically my collection. I like to post it. And I got some cool stuff coming up on this channel going to be doing some more rankings uh this time i'm going to be doing more rankings of like genres of music um you know like sub genres things like that i may be doing a uh, basically my room collection which is basically my basement but it's my music room uh, i might show off my instruments uh i was doing posters collectibles everything i have going on and as soon as i hit a thousand subscribers i will be doing a special uh video where i'll be showing off some you know rare things I never showed off before. So anyone, thanks for watching and check your next video.